Happy New Year! Happy New Year! How are you guys feeling? <laughs> I feel great. I do. I woke up at 11. I did not go to bed and I, you know what? I literally fell asleep as soon as I got back home. I had Corbin here to celebrate the new year. We played some Fortnite and Fortnite had Happy New Year fireworks. There were some fireworks outside. I threw off some firecrackers and um, yeah, we had a good time. We had some fruit. Anyways, I am back. I'm here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Oh, what show is that? It's like some kind of a public broadcasting station show. Whoa, I used to watch Charlie Rose every single time it was on. Like, I would literally wait until it came on, and I would be like, yeah, this, this is what I want. Um, what did I do? What happened to this? Ooh, I can check out my results from like setting aside some liquid foundation. I did purchase and I was actually stopped um, essential oils for my diffuser. Bergamot is like pretty and then I used just bergamot and lavender. I'm guessing it's going to be good with like a I don't know, like three drops in with my peppermint or something. I thought it was too similar to peppermint. It's got this like lime, Corbin says lemon, it's definitely citrus, um, but then like this fresh green undertone that I like. But I used, it was virtually just this, I thought I put lavender in it, but for some reason this is having a hard time like dispensing. So I don't know how many drops it actually got. Um, and also this one here, my lemon, has a difficulty dispensing. I drop, um, I'm trying to drop just one or two drops, and then all of a sudden, like, nothing's coming out. It goes, <laughs> like, a ton. Like, some air bubble that's been created pops, and or, or it gets created and moves to the side and lets it dribble in on the side. But, um, this here is good, but you have to be careful with it. I still love tea tree oil. I never thought to put tea tree oil in a diffuser. It's very medicinal because I always use this as an apothecary. Like, I have bad acne skin. I have bad sinuses. Um, my scalp, for whatever reason, it's going to benefit from some tea tree oil, right? Well, I also like it just in the air to remind me the nostalgia of tea tree oil going behind my mother's toilet and her... It's called an etagerie? I don't know anything. The thing that sits behind the toilet. Um, one of the items that was back there was tea tree oil. So the smell of it just brings up good memories. Good memories. So I do for, oh, this is disgusting. I have to clean that, I guess. I have two because I bought a kit. I bought like a three-piece kit. We all had peppermint, excuse me, lemon and lavender. And those are my three favorite ones I use together. What I need is like an Econo size of peppermint and then this size for lavender and lemon because I use six drops of peppermint, two drops of lavender, and two drops of lemon for my favorite concoction. Um, and I do have to be careful because when I use the lemon, there's too much lemon. It's disgusting. Like it just smells like a, I'm inside of a lollipop from the credit union type of a smell. Okay, so what have we got here? <sighs> I'm trying to find, and it's probably tucked away in my caboodle, and my caboodle is a little bit lower. Let's get down to business here. All the cats have gone to the vet. They have an appointment to get a rabies shot. We got their deworming mm, stuff. Which is good. All right, it's in here. Okay, let's check it out because this here, I exploded a cream blush. If you saw that one, and oh, I mean it's it didn't. Oh, it kind of dried, kind of didn't. It's like crackled on top of the surface. Usable. It came out fine. Like uh, it looks like makeup. It's kind of like creamier, so it's thicker. 
thicker quality. Um, oh, Happy New Year. I, I'm sorry about being inconsistent. I understand that if you're like sitting down and, and you're maybe thinking, oh, I'm going to do makeup with Nicole. And then especially if there's a situation where you're going to be putting makeup on, whether you like it or not, or like, you know, you're going to work or an event, and you decide to watch one of my videos while you do so. And then I'm not even putting makeup on. <laughs> but I'm your makeup friend. I do makeup. <laughs> you're putting makeup on with me. You look great. You look great. Okay? Um, doing it right. Gosh. So I started my New Year's with a cup of coffee, and that's all I've had so far. And my issue, I don't know about you guys, is I convinced myself I haven't eaten yet. Then I eat, and then I remember what I'd already eaten. Does that happen to you guys? So, um, I can't think of any, and it'll be obscure things I forget. Like, I'll make myself waffle fry nachos and eat, like, a tray of it. I make a serving size. I don't make, like, a party size. But I make, like, a little serving size. I just grab a handful of waffle fries from the Orida bag, bake it, and then take it out and add, like, cheese Put it back in the oven for the cheese to melt, take it out, and put other toppings on top, and then eat that. And then I will convince myself I have not eaten yet, and I will have Eggo waffles and a couple turkey and cheese wraps. It's weird. It's a weird thing. So there's that issue that I'm going through. Um, I need, I really wish, I, I want to, like, clean my face. I did not shower yesterday at all. I literally shower um two times a day if not just like that I always shower at least once and then sometimes more often than not twice so and I don't even like work out or do anything like that um on a regular basis so I'm not paranoid or anything but I just like to wake up and I maybe I'll do makeup maybe I won't and just like refresh my soul and then before bed I just start to feel grimy from the day and I just like to cleanse myself of that. So I'm not neurotic about it. Like I said, I can go without showering. Um, and I'm not judgmental either. You can have dreads in your hair and it's your body. You're creating your own bacteria and keeping yourself alive. So I think that people do some dumb stuff according to me. But like to each their own. They're probably whatever they're doing and I'm not. I'm going to die because I think that they're dumb for doing it. And it's what's saving their life and I'm ignoring and not doing. So whatever bacteria they're brewing, I'm killing and dying. <laughs> so anyways, um, I really... Hmm, let's see. Concealer first. Let's do some concealer. Always a good place to start. I've done some really good remodeling and redecorating. I finally used my reciprocation so I did not catch it on. Um, what is that? It's like a patch of dry skin from where my acne is healing. This would be good practice for the claw game. For some reason, I think like trying to find and place <laughs> where you need your cover up by looking into the monitor. I think that would be really good. Oh, <laughs> I think it's fine. I have my nose, it usually gets a little red, but if I do need more coverage, I'll add some after the effect. We're gonna go in since it was my favorite and worked so well my Boom Boom Cream. <laughs> Georgia Money. Juvia's Place mixture. It's so whipped and creamy. It came out so wonderful. It's holding up very well. Very, very well. I'm just going to apply that. Can I use this? There's so much blush on here and bronzer. No, I may not use that. Is my foundation brush from Kat Von D. <clears throat> It smells kind of like coconut. I don't know. Maybe that's what I smell.
I think that's nice. It's clean, fresh, smooth. You have no idea how cool it feels to not be recording and then be talking to yourself. It's very embarrassing. I was explaining that I had a lot of gray undertones in this foundation and my skin has a like a yellow cast with a red rosy tone to it. And most people avoid gray like the plague. They don't want their makeup to look gray. Like, ew, who would want that? And it's literally what I look for in makeup. So I love it. I think it looks fine. I think it looks great. I would choose it again and again. Bronze in my makeup, I just feel like I can have way more control if I add it in myself in the after effect. So I'm starting my New Year's off with a light natural look with a little extra glam. Um, so far I've just used concealer, foundation, powder, and now I'm applying a blush. I'm going to be doing bronzer, eyeliner, eyeshadow, the works. But I'm going to try to keep it like looking clean. That makes any sense like I, I just want to rush to the grocery store after this I had to pick up three things so what's this I was actually freaking out because I have literally no money left for groceries and then I realized my Hannaford rewards could be activated and I have earned $15 in Hannaford's rewards plus and um, so anyways good good news good thanks and it's $15 is literally how much I was going to spend. So turkey, cheese, creamer for my coffee. That's my, like my minimum, what I need right now. And I can. So. Thankful. I am very thankful. Thank you. One of those things you forget about. I shop at Hannaford regularly. And then I do... I go to Walmart sometimes, but there's nothing like, I love milk at Hannaford. I love their meat section. I hate getting my meat at Walmart. I love bulk. I get so sick of going back to the store for cereal. And Walmart has like these gigantuous Uber boxes of cereal. They have gigantic, like their, their section. <laughs> for things like that is why I go. It really is. For buying in bulk. That's why I go. I love to buy in bulk. I need a sharpener. I need a pencil sharpener. Bust. I have no idea where it went. Because I don't need one. I could do without one. <clears throat> my prop, my, I keep almost buying eyeliner, by the way. I keep going to the store and looking at it. And then I'm like, no, I have enough. And it, what really helped me was they were selling uh, eyeliner this size for $11. And I was like, Hmm. Yeah, basically, I mean, I have that. That's exactly what I have. So. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Why today is it so watery? That's ridiculous. It's not usually like this.
I'm like crying. Oh my God, like tears are pouring out of my eyes. So where I have to go, literally, I hope they're still, I hope they're open. I don't know their hours. I think they open later today. Hannaford, that's it. Hannaford home. So we're going into Mrs. Claus. Santa's daughter is here to slay. I'm literally just going to keep using this for a very long time. I'm sorry, you guys. <clears throat> Let's see here. So I'm going in with, what is this called? Spilled Coke? Spilled Cocoa? Is that really what it is? Spiked Cocoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Spiked Cocoa. I'm just going to go. I've been seeing this a lot. A little bit deeper shade in the crease here. Going back to basics. Like so. And then... Side here. That's pretty. Okay, I just want a little bit more on the outside. This is so nice. I don't know what, there might have been something on my brush before. That's something that happens to me. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go into. Ba -ba. What do I want? Bling bling on my eyelid right here. Ooh, that's pretty. Bling bling. Nice. Okay. And then for a highlighter, I'm going to go into bubbly and frozen, but mostly bubbly. Let's see if we'll be able to see it. Can I see it? Yeah, it lightens it up just a little bit. I love it. Nice. A little bit too much frozen on this side, but a splash of frozen on this side can't hurt. Um, yeah, so that's that. Simple, just a three color look. Um, a deep brown, a medium brown, and then a light beige color, vanilla white mixture, maybe. You don't have to use glitter, especially if you're opposed to glitter. Some people feel like glitter highlights, um, imperfections but I feel like it hides them to each their own to each their own depends on what types of glitter that you're using is it like chunky or is it thin fine micro micro glitters <clears throat> some mascara now what a quick, I really want more like my cheeks my blush isn't enough so I'm going to try to pick a lipstick that will help accentuate that and then call it good. And then go to the grocery store. I'm not hungry, which is a great time to go to the grocery store. Not hungry at all. So get some turkey, cheese, and creamer. And I, I think that's it. I think I want like orange juice or cider or sparkling cider, but that's extra. So probably not. I'm gonna go without it today. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe if I had like a little hand mirror, let's see. I'm in love with this eyeshadow look. It's so simple and you watched me do it. It was so quick. I'm not going anywhere with my mascara. It's just not building. It's not on smooth. I'm not going to follow that bunny though to find the perfect mascara. I really feel like it has more to do with me. Like day after day, there'll be good days and bad days of the exact same makeup. So I'm not, I'm not even gonna get into it. I'm not even gonna get into it. What? Where did I put all of my lip color? Oh, 
Is that them? <gasps> oh, weird. They're here. Okay, so I got this from Clinique. This is Icon Pop 02. Icon Pop. And this makes a great lipstick blush duo. Hmm. It's a little flat, a little matte. Some people might like this look, but I want like a... This is probably a better fresh look, like without any foundation. I haven't done one of those in a while. I could do that. The lipstick. Lipstick look. Okay. Where I want to... Yeah, let's do that. Let's do a lipstick look where it's like... My eyeshadow, my blush, my lipstick, eyeliner, the whole works. Just changing up my brush. The way I apply the way I apply it. <sighs> Terrible. Terrible. I have um my setting spray and then I'm done. I should curl my lashes actually. I have no idea the road conditions. They weren't great, they were fair last night. It was snowing, slushy, very icy on my steps, so of all places, that's something that's my fault, so. Oh yeah, gloss. 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 Crazy. Silly me. I don't like to put gloss on top of lipstick. I like to squeeze it out of the tube and then apply it so that way I don't mess up the tube. Yeah, that's fun. Oh, eyebrows. <sighs> Let's do some eyebrows. They did get a little lost with my makeup application. All right, you guys, thank you so much for sticking with me, and I will see you tomorrow. Happy New Year. I hope your day goes great. Stick to those resolutions, and don't beat yourself up if you have a bad day. All the power to you. I believe in you, and um, like I said, see you tomorrow. Updates. Bye.